Hundred days after former Directorate of Criminal Investigation DCI boss George Kinoti left the office. In what looks like a choreographed action between the government and the then DCI boss, it's now clear that there was a bad blood between the president and the DCI boss on grounds of inhuman wrongdoings. The president speaking during a joint interview at the State House disclosed that he relieved Kinoti of his duties for overseeing a team accused of multiple extrajudicial killings. You know, what, ki what, kind, of, what, what kind of rogue, you know, institution. And that is why I fired that Kinoti man, you know, because, I mean, it's, it's not right, good people. Should there be responsibility more than just firing? Of course, there will be responsibility. He did not resign? You fired him? <laughs> we'll have another. <laughs> okay. Can, can. For the first time, Kenyans would be informed of their loved ones being slaughtered in a container in a police station. And then it was business as usual. 30 bodies in Yala. The CG 17 bodies in Garissa. I don't know how many bodies were. You know, people, you know, we, we, there, there, was a, there was a container here at, uh, at, at the Nairobi area. People were being slaughtered in a police station. How did we end up there? The president has since tasked an independent policing oversight authority, IPOA, with probing and getting to the bottom of the said killings, with the aim of bringing the perpetrators to face the full force of the law. Already had a thorough meeting with the IPOA, and we have agreed with them that it is not necessary for me to establish another task force when. IPOA is there and it is squarely within their mandate to tell us how did Kenyans end up being killed in this manner and then it was business as usual. For Ebru TV, Amode Francis.